What's poppin' boys? In this video, I'm gonna be ranking every fruit in Bloss Fruits from worst to best. Now, I put off this video for a long time, but now that I'm almost 20 million bounty and I actually got good at the game, I figured now would be the perfect time to make this video. And for the tiers, we have godly at top tier, great tier, good tier, meh tier, and D tier. Matter of fact, hold on, let me change that to dookie fruit yeah. tier. All right, so before we get into actually ranking, I just wanna say this is based off of my opinion and experience. So if you disagree, perfectly fine. Just try to keep the hate to a minimum. Also, this list is based off of grinding and PVP together. So an overall list. And for the first fruit, we're going to be ready the spin fruit. What the heck is it? Look at me like that. I'm going to be honest. Spin is a tough fruit. Its kit really has no redeeming factors. I mean, look at this. Razor wind. What are you going to do with that? No range. Hardly any damage. Tornado assault. Hardly any combo potential. I mean, it's all right for grinding, but the PvP potential is non-existent. Helicopter flight. Worst flight in the game. Well, one of the worst flights in the game. Last but not least, we have air slasher, which is actually an all right move, I'm going to be honest, but leaves no room for combo potential or anything to set up anything. So yeah, I'm going to be honest with this fruit. It's only got to go one place, and that is dookie fruit. Straight gone. Garbage. And I don't think there'll be any arguing with that one. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do the barrier fruit. Ooh, I hate this fruit. Look at him smiling at me like that, bro. What you got to smile about? Your fruit's garbage. Let me eat that thing real quick. Okay, now this suffers for the same reason spin does. It's kind of crazy because this is actually a rare fruit. So how this is bad, I don't know. This thing needs a rework, man. Look at this though. Barrier wall, like it barely has any range to it. You're not going to hit anyone to PvP with that. Surprise attack, like this thing is slow as hell. Someone could ken that. The only good move this thing has is barrier prison, which can start for combo potential um, if you bring them back to you but another thing this doesn't have is a good alt like look at this barrier towers slow release has high end lag so if you miss that you're getting punished but also the aoe is only vertical like you're not gonna hit anyone with this in pvp moral of the story is do not use barrier just just don't just don't definitely need to rework although i don't see them really making barrier that good so let's go in a dookie tier above spin though but i mean it's not gonna go below spin next up we have the bomb fruit and uh do i even really need an explanation for this one you know what? i'm not giving no explanation for that i'm putting that below barrier i mean it's pretty self-explanatory bro bomb is not good coming up next we have the spike fruit now i feel like this doesn't really need much of an explanation either most of the uh dookie fruits have suffered from all the same things look at this spike summon this is good for grinding i want to be honest this is all right for grinding especially with spiky ball it has good aoe however uh i mean no potential for pvp i don't see this thing getting a rework ever by the way so it's probably going to be probably one of the worst forever it's, it's garbage moves are not good it has a bad move kit straight to dookie fruit i'll put that above spin though next up we have one of the fruits i hate the most in the game so this is no shocker we have the falcon fruit now i'm gonna make this one quick one has a trash move set you waste one of the moves on plumage which you need this move to even use your moves two it's trash for grinding only one of these moves are multi-target moves and it's wind burst right here and the damage is actually garbage this move right here bone crusher is a single target move helps you not at all in grinding and also good luck landing that pvp third we have soaring beast oh i guess that is a multi-target so it has two multi-target moves but it's still garbage also a trash flight this this has no redeeming factors i don't want to argue about it falcon straight to dookie fruit but i'm gonna put it above everything else and i honestly think that might wrap up the dookie fruit tier list falcon barrier bomb spike it spin it's not bad not bad next up we have the spring fruit now this goes up to the next tier for one reason when i did that random card to size my fruit video i ended up having to use the spring fruit and I'm not gonna lie, I cooked players in PvP. Now the moveset is not exactly the best, don't get me wrong. First ability knock is not very good and has low range. However, spring snipe is all right. I've, I've sniped some players with that. <laughs> spring cannon is not bad. You're gonna have to set that up though to land this. You guys see right there. But the thing I like most about this is the spring leap right here. It's actually a really good mobility. You guys can see I, I went pretty far with that. And then spring emperor, which is this. You guys can see right there, spring emperor. It's like a big AOE, which just hits multiple things. So for grinding, obviously this is worse than even the dookie fruit tier. But for PvP, this actually has some solid potential. And for that, that is why I'm putting it at the bottom of meh tier. Next up, we have the Chop Fruit Boys. This one I'm also going to put into the meh tier. And it, it, it's actually a little bit better than the Dookie Fruit tiers. I'm going to have to explain why. All right, so since this is the Chop Fruit, anytime you fight a sword main player in PvP or sword NPC, you're not going to be able to be hit. So this actually makes it decent for grinding throughout the first seed because it's almost like you have a Loki dodge. And since a lot of players in PvP use swords, it makes it a decent viable option for a counter pick. However, though, the moves are still garbage. I mean, look at this tackle, garbage, dance, like no one's going to let you hit him with that. And then party, it's kind of like rubber barrage, I guess, a little bit. It's just not that good, man. Damn, this is a worse flight than spin. Wow. Literally, the only reason this got to where it was is because of the passive that you can't be hit by swords. That's it. The move set is it's worse than some of the dookie fruit ones. Next up after that, we have the smoke fruit. Move set wise, this thing is not good. You only have four different abilities. But however, where this excels is grinding. Smoke is actually not bad for grinding. This move right here, smoke bomber, I've cheesed so many bosses with this and it's not bad the damage is 
not bad. We also have Smoke Blast, which has some good AoE. Like, let me just show y'all real quick. Look how much damage Smoke Blast deals right here. You see that right there? 5,447. So the damage is not bad. PvP all though, just, just don't use this for PvP. Just don't. But if you have no other fruit and you got a smoke, I mean, you could use it for grinding. So yeah, smoke is going above chop and spring and meh. Rocket fruit next. Ah, uh, yes. This is 10 times better than Kilo was. I'm not gonna lie. Now, Rocket, I'm gonna be honest, it's quite a bit better than some of the other fruits with Dookie Fruit. Missile Fist is actually a long range, not bad ability. Air Strike is also not that bad of an ability. It's got a cool third move as well, Rocket Crash, which I guess is kind of the ultimate. You know what I'm saying? You can catch a player who's lacking with that. Good AoE as well. Overall, it's not uh, it's not that bad. Would I use it? No, but it's 10 times better than Kilo was. Still though, it is gonna go at the bottom of meh. All these other ones are better. Coming up next, we got the Diamond Fruit, boys. Now, Diamond for me is a bit interesting. Reason why is you have this move right here in Crust, which gives you a pretty good damage reduction for PvP, and that's the only reason, really, I put it on this high. It has absolutely no grinding capabilities. I mean, look at this. Beaming Tackle, like, that did, that, that did literally hardly any damage. I mean, it did half his damage, but if you're grinding, you're not gonna do that much because you have no max fruit to that. Diamond Hail is an alright ability in PvP because it's long range. Solar Flare is also alright. Does good damage. It has a little bit of stun there, too, but the main factor is the damage reduction with this. I've never personally ran into a good Diamond user, but for what it is, it deserves at least above Dookie Fruit. So I'm gonna put Diamond above the rest in meh. Now this next take, this one might make a lot of people mad. The rubber fruit right here. It's going in meh. It's going to the top of meh. Now before you get all upset, let me explain. So for grinding, first of all, just don't use this fruit for grinding, bro. It might noob to max, but every two hours I eat new fruit. Grinding was horrendous with this. The only really good move for grinding you have is rush. If you gather up a bunch of NPCs and do this, you gotta be able to do some damage. Other than that though, you know what I'm saying? It's not good for grinding really. Now for PvP, it is solid for PvP. You counter rumble users. You can't be hit by guns. So you would think this is like probably like one of the best PvP fruits, right? Wrong. The main combo you have in PvP is something along the lines of this. Spiky tried and pull into the rush combo, which could be straight combo if you're going against a Cyborg V3 user, they could also can it. The other abilities I feel are just not as good. I mean, Smash is a good ability. Um, Slingshot is not as good. You have to have really good aim to utilize that. And then Cannon is also just not that good. Overall, I, the only reason this even made it up to here is its PvP capabilities. It's all right for PvP. I made it to 5 million bounty with this fruit alone. So don't get me wrong. It is solid, but it is held back by a lot of things. That right there though is going to wrap up the Mets here. I don't feel like this was too bad, except maybe the controversial rubber pick, but oh well. Next tier is we have this good, great, and godly tier, and I'm excited to do some of these next ones. Next up though, we have the pain fruit, otherwise known as the paw fruit. Now, what do I think about this fruit? So first off, we have a really kind of a long range move set. Like look, heavy paw, long range move, paw barrage, also long range move, paw nuke, also long range move with some AOE at the end of it, since it's an explosion. We also have a mobility move, which is self repel, pretty much like the rumble dash, except you only get one of them. Last but not least, we have the ultimate, which is torture, another long range move, but if it hits them, it does a damage over time, which actually does pretty good damage. You guys can see right there doing over 4,000, actually 5,000. I'm going to be honest, for grinding, this thing is, just don't use it for grinding. It, I do not recommend using this for grinding. I'm going to be honest. PvP though, it is all right. It is all right. You can do combos like this, where you do like spiky try to pull, boom, pop a rush, you know what I'm saying? A combo like that. And that's a good combo to use in PvP. I'm going to be honest with Paw, it's going to go at the bottom of good tier. Simply because it's pretty much getting elevated just because of its PvP capabilities. It is good for PvP, I'll give it that. Grinding, no uses for grinding. Let's go with an interesting one next. The Spirit Fruit. Woo wait. Where to start with this one, man? Where to start with this one? All of these moves pretty much lead into a combo, except the Frostfire Grasp. Frostfire Grasp, it is a stun ability, but it has too much analyte to combo off of it. However, you have this one right here, Wrath of Shoe, which directly leads into the ultimate right here, which can lead into a spiky try and pull and a whole combo there. So it's got combo off of combos off of combos. You also get buffs. You can see this little spirit bar right here. If you tap it while it's on the blue side, you get speed slash health buffs like so. You guys see right there. If you tap it on the red side, it summons monsters, which you deal damage, stun. This fruit honestly is top tier. It's one of the best for PvP in the game. If you sleep on it, I suggest you learn it because <laughs> this fruit is busted, man. Now for a fruit like this, there's nowhere else it deserves to go other than godly. And it's going to go to the top of godly tier. Like not the not the very best, but it's, it's, it's definitely top three and i will argue with any of y'all to that on the grave next up we're gonna do the control fruit now control is an interesting case because it's not good for both grinding and it's also not good for pvp for pvp to even use any moves you have to activate this control area which you know you're not able to use any abilities when you use that so you're literally a sitting duck when you're trying to activate the room the moves themselves are not that good this is levitate um no one's gonna sit there and let you do that echo knife you have to set something up to even let get this to land same with the ultimate no one's just gonna sit there and let you use this ultimate so in terms of pvp in order to actually do good with this you have to run a very specific build because otherwise everything's gonna get ken tricked other than that though it's not good for grinding or pvp really so for that i gotta put control in good tier i'm gonna put it below pain too because i feel like pain is a little more versatile definitely needs a rework man
man. I can't wait till control gets to rework. Okay, next fruit we're gonna do though is the sand fruit cheeseburger. Now this one's actually pretty interesting. For grinding, it's not too bad. I made the moves right here. You have Desert Blade, a long range ability that comes up pretty quick. Hardly any end lag or startup. You do also have Logia, so they can't really hit you for a while. So that helps with grinding a little bit. PvP the combos are good. Sand Coffin, everything revolves around Sand Coffin. You see right here, very high stun. And then you do Sandstorm, and then you do combos, whatever. So it's really good for PvP. Decent for grinding, has Logia Dodge. Honestly, it's not too bad. People be sleeping on sand a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put this one at the top of good tier for now. It's not gonna be the best of good tier, but it's gonna be definitely like probably top three in good tier. What fruit should I do next? What fruit should I do next? I think the sound fruit is a good place to start. Now, the sound fruit is a recently released legendary fruit that honestly shocked us all. Very high damage, has a tempo meter right here that when it's full, you get faster, do more damage, take less damage. Very spammable, as you can see right here. Rhapsody notes, fourth TC Mo. Has a high AoE, multi target hitting stun ability, symphonic radiance, that little disco ball, which can lead into many different things. Has a really good ult. Like, what doesn't this fruit have? Like, this is an insane fruit. I'm not gonna lie. The damage is nice. PvP, it's nice. Actually, decent for grinding. I'm gonna be honest. Like, you see the spam ability right here. Boom, 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 boom. Based off of this entire moveset and everything you get with it, I'm gonna be honest. Sound is going in great. It is it is a very good fruit. You can't go wrong eating this fruit PvP. I would say if you're gonna be grinding or you're not max, eat a different fruit. But for PvP, can't go wrong with sound. Flame fruit next. Decent for grinding. Has Logia dodges, so it'll get you through first or second C. But where it really excels is the PvP. Look at this. Prominence burst, long range ability. Allows you to do some combo potential. You can do a spiky trident pull after that if you hit them and they don't have Ken. Blue fire bullets, good for chip damage, long range as well. Now where the real magic happens is this right here. Flaming vortex. Launches them up, which you could do this. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Do a spiky trident, start any type of fighting style combo. It's really nice. So for PvP, I feel like people will be sleeping on this a lot. They may think it's worse than it is, but it's not half bad. And because of that, I have to put this towards the top of good. Gravity fruit next, our third mythical of the video. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not holding back on this one, boys. I'm not holding back. If you're a gravity man, you may get upset. Firstly, this moveset is actually terrible for grinding. Gravity push, it does have some AoE, but the damage is just not there. Gravity obeisance is a pretty good, both for PvP and grinding. However, the damage also is leaves something to be desired. Meteor pitch, that move is lacking both in PvP for grinding. And then meteor rain is all right for grinding, but it has a lot of knockback. So the chances you're gonna hit all those meteors are very low. Now, this is a stun fruit. So for PvP, it is all right. You could do combos like this, like no, Blood Bane Drain, Spiky Trident Pull, Gravity Obeisance. And this is a decent combo. It does good damage, right? But the thing is, there are so many other stun fruits that do exactly what Gravity does, except 10 times better. It 100% needs a rerec. So because of that, I'm gonna put it in between Pain and Control. These these three are pretty much one of the same. Alrighty, Quake next. Now, Quake is an interesting fruit. I feel like this is not that bad of a fruit. Maybe not for grinding. I wouldn't use it for grinding. It's just, it only has four abilities. One of them is a single target move. You can see right there. So not for AoE. Air Crusher. It is kind of a narrow AoE move. You can't really like turn it. It's not like big AoE. Special Shockwave is a nice move. Damage is not really there though. And Sea Quake, obviously, you know, it doesn't really do that much damage. I'm gonna be honest. Like, look at that. Only 2000 damage for that. Not that good. Now, where I feel this fruit really excels is PVP. The I've faced good Quake users. They are a problem. The only issue with Quake is that every single move has really long end lag. So with this fruit, you have to be perfect. If you miss any moves, you're leaving yourself up to be punished. So while I feel Quake is pretty decent, I'm going to put it above Pain and Gravity though. Hopefully maybe one day in the future, we'll see a Quake rework. I think that'd be lit because I do not think they did Quake that much justice in this game, bro. White Beard is stronger than that. Love Fruit next. This one is interesting. Now Love recently got a rework at the beginning of 2023, which honestly made it really good for PvP. Okay, first off, we have Heart Shot, which is a really long range ability that has decent AoE, so it's, it's solid for grinding. We have Cupid's Zone. Anyone in here gets stunned, so you can do combos like this. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You have Irresistible Attraction, which pulls up towards you, also stuns. You have Best Friend, which is a problem in PvP. It can pull out their best friend. They have Cupid's Zone. They're pulling out combos on you. You're getting hit by him and your best friend. It can get toxic, bro. A good love user, they're problematic. I'm not gonna lie. This kid is very nice. Not as good for grinding, but it really excels in PvP. And because of that, I honestly think love is a great fruit. Now, it's not gonna be at the top of great. It's probably gonna be at the middle or lower end of great, but it is very good fruit. Can't go wrong with it. The list is coming together, boys. The list is coming together. Hopefully, I haven't pissed any of y'all off too much. Ah, uh, yes, the dough fruit next. The dough fruit. Does this really need any explanation? You know, I'm gonna give it an explanation. First of all, for this one, you have Logia Dodge. You guys can see right there. So it's all right for grinding. I did a Doom to Max with dough, and it actually wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Long range ability, brain dead, missile jab. You can just spam that. Very long range. Also has stupid AoE. So even when you think you're not close, you're still gonna get hit. Pastry River, which has a two um, use to it. Look at this. If you jump up and use it in the air, it does this whole like fist barrage combo, which actually does crazy damage. Piercing clothesline, this move. Oh, I 
hate getting hit by this movement PvP. Look at this. Look at this right here. It slams them up, slams them down, and you can basically just start stupid combos with this. I'm gonna be honest, man. Doe has got it all. Grinding, brain dead combos in PvP, Logia dodge, spam ability. I, ha I hate facing this route in PvP. It's stupid. It's stupid. I'm gonna be honest, man. It'd be criminal to put Doe in any other tier other than Godly. It's going in Godly. 100%. And I ain't arguing or debating y'all on that ever. Blizzard. Huh. Interesting. I honestly feel like Blizzard is a well rounded fruit. It's got some good spam ability, long range abilities, high AoE. Look at that. Very high AoE. Multiple, mul all of these moves hit multiple targets. You guys can see right here. Oh, by the way, this is a Logia dodge. You can see right there. PvP, you don't really have as much combos. However, this right here, look at this. Domain expansion right here. Like, this is really spammable. So it's good for grinding and PvP. All around are fruit. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. This is not really like too bad in any ways. And the only issue is nobody uses this because it has no hype around it. It's not really a fun fruit to use, I would say. But for that, all the reasons I just listed, I, I'd say it has to be a great fruit. Definitely below love, I'd feel, because I feel like love is just better in a lot of ways. But can't deny it's a great fruit. Let's get the ghost fruit out the way next. I don't have one of these permanents, so I'm about to eat this right now. Now the ghost fruit just got a really deserved rework, and because of that, it's gonna be a lot higher than I would have put it if it didn't get that rework. So the first move is pretty much the same as before. It's a launch that stuns. Kind of a little bit hard to combo off that because of the end lag on this. But the next move special release is a good ability that has some stun and allows you to go combo. Third move, which I believe is the best move in the kit, Cries of the Underworld. It stuns there for a while. Actually has some decent long range, which allows for combo potential. Then you have Ghostbusters. Now, Ghostbusters, I don't feel is really as useful for PvP. However, because of Ghostbusters, this makes this actually a decent grinding fruit. Like you can see right here, my Ghostbuster guy is packing up this guy right now, bro. It also, they also use your fighting style. So you can see I'm using Sanguine Art. So the Ghostbusters are also using using Sanguine Art. If you're just using combat or something, it's, eh, it's not really gonna be as good. Now, this isn't the best PvP fruit. The main thing I would say for PvP that's a problem is that the passive, when you die, you come back with 50% health. That's nice. Put that with the rework and that it has actual combo potential now. You know what I'm saying? I would say this is not that bad of a fruit. So due to all these factors, I would put Ghost in the upper tier of good. I'm gonna put that above Flame. While we're at it, let's go ahead and wrap up the good tier. Next up, we have Magma. Magma is going in good tier because of a few reasons. So obviously, it is a low get dodge. You guys see right here, I can't be hit. It is very good for grinding. The damage is super high. Look at that. 16,000 damage just off of one move. So for grinding, this is immaculate. You can get from level one first C all the way to third C with magma alone. It's going to be boring. <laughs> the issue with this that holds it back a little bit is its PvP capabilities. Um, the moves are all very slow. It's a little tough to hit, especially in today's meta with high pace one shot combos. Magma just doesn't have that. It's not really a combo fruit. So PvP really holds it back. Grinding is immaculate with this fruit though. So because of that, I'm putting this in good tier. I put it above flame because of the grinding. Now the last fruit that I'm going to put in good. Um, this one may be a bit controversial. Actually, I don't think anyone will disagree with this. Phoenix. Um, I don't really think Phoenix really like excels in any category, to be honest. Like it's a good fruit, has a good damage, has the healing capabilities right here. The moves are not all that great though. It has an M1, I guess. So it has some spam ability and some combo potential like that. But no one really uses this fruit for a reason. It doesn't really excel in any category. And there are fruits that do exactly what Phoenix does, except better, man. I want to be honest. Yeah, man, I'm pretty confident about that placing. I don't think Phoenix is good enough to be in great but I don't think it's bad enough to be under good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put Phoenix at pretty much the yeah, the top four and good. And that's going to wrap up good tier right there. I guess I'll find out once I upload this video and the comments come through. We only have the godly tier and the great tier next, boys. And we have under 15 fruits remaining. Okay, next up on the list, I'm going to do the Buddha fruit. I'm going to be honest, this one's pretty easy to place. There's not really any complications with this one. 100% the best fruit at grinding because of this move right here. Shift. Whenever you're grinding, you'll always be able to hit enemies, but you'll be just out of the range to where they can never hit you. So this is the best fruit for grinding, hands down. Or at least one of the best, top two. This fruit is also really good at PvP for those same reasons. Um, you can literally just catch people lacking in PvP just by M1 spamming. Let's say you went up to them, did Soul Guitar, then you just M1 spam them to death, bro. You can catch people lacking like that. I've gotten caught lacking like that. So this fruit is really good for both PvP and grinding. However, I'm going to put it in the middle of great tier. I know I probably just made a lot of y'all upset. How isn't it godly, winner? How isn't it godly? It is 100% getting carried by its PvP capabilities. While yes, I did just say you can get caught lacking in PvP with it. If you're going against a good player that knows what they're doing, all they're going to do is outrange you as Buddha. So it's really only great for grinding. Next up, we have the spider fruit. This one may be a little personal bias. I'm not going to lie. Um, I personally think this one is underrated. You got high mobility right here, right? You got good damage dealing moves. You got long range move with older here sniper. You could literally snipe someone across the map with that. You got good combos and easy combos. Well, look at this. Silk prison straight into heavenly punishment. And this deals insane damage. It's also not 
not too bad for grinding. I mean, like, it's not terrible for grinding. There's better fruits out there. I wouldn't use this for grinding. But for PvP, I, I think it's underrated. I really do. Right, hold on. Let me just show you what I'm talking about real quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Quick card. Slip prison. Boom. Heavenly punishment. Hit him there. Still going, still going. Boom. Combo's not even done yet. Sanguine art. Get a whole entire Sanguine art combo right there. If you have Cyber V3, bro, I'm convinced that's going to kill a 30 million body player right there. So because of that, I'm going to put this at the bottom of great. Coming up next, we have the Shadow Fruit. Now, this one I've never used personally, so I'm not going to do a little move showcase. I don't use this for PvP. I know it's trash for grinding, but it does have insane one shot combos. So we're going to put this in great, but we're going to put this like kind of like in the middle of great. Next up, we have the Ice Fruit, boys. Those of you who not know this game, y'all know this one's getting placed high. So first off, this thing has low gear dodges. Okay, well, these NPCs have hockey, but it also has M1s. So it's actually not half bad for grinding. This could get you through first and second C pretty easily, especially if you have it awakened. Where it really excels is the PvP. Let me show y'all the most brain dead easy combo that even someone who just started playing the game can do. Okay, so you do flash step, absolute zero, right? Then you spam unawakened C, right? Then you use cold storm and one and one and one and one. Then you do a whole little combo, whatever it is. And I guarantee you, bro, if you have Cyborg V3, that is killing even a 30 million bounty player. That is crazy. So yeah, ice is easily like one of the better PvP fruits in the game. Right now, it's going under sound and great. All right, now the dark fruit. The dark fruit and ice are pretty much one of the same. They're both stun fruits. The only difference is dark doesn't have as much good damage and it has better mobility. You guys can see right here, like that. Also a benefit to dark is that you can use their moves in air. So unlike ice, you need to be on the ground to use absolute zero, which is why ice isn't in godly tier. Dark, it's a bit slower too. So if you use your moves and you miss, you get punished. I think both are pretty much one and the same a little bit. It's just ice is slightly better than dark. Dark is more versatile at the exchange for being slower. I'm honestly going to put them right next to each other. You can make it really far in PvP with dark. It's just the grinding is worse. And actually, now that I brought up the grinding, I'm going to put this below Buddha just because of that. Because grinding with dark is treacherous. Only a few fruits left, boyos. And for this next one, I'm going to go Venom. Now, I feel this needs hardly any explanation, bro. You know what? Let me just do it. Let me just do it. All the entire move kit for grinding, PvP, whatever you're using it for, boss farming, it's good. Look at this. Poison daggers, spam ability, has pretty good damage, right? Has damage over time as well. Poison. Knocks a shot. Long range auto aim ability, which, which also deals a lot of damage, has uh, damage over time. Toxic fog. Any enemy that gets close to you gets poisoned and their screen starts like hallucinating or whatever, right? Surface wrath. You think this is just a flight, right? Wrong deals damage. So it has really long abilities, low cooldowns, so you can constantly spam it. One of these moves basically has auto aim. And guess what? To top it all off, you have a fury meter and a transformation. Let me show y'all. Transformation right here, right? And all of your moves have changed. Well, only two of them. So now Super it's Wrath, you guys can see, it has three dragons floating around it, which when you use it, the dragons attack enemies nearby. Extra damage, right? Look at this. Toxic fog, big poison cloud, and anyone who stays in the middle of this is going to take a lot of damage. And to keep them in the middle of it, all you have to do is just use your moves, right? Keep them in there, deal tons of damage. I did a noob to max with Venom, and it was one of the easiest noob to maxes I've done yet. It's really good for grinding. It's definitely a problem in PvP. Whoever you run into with this, they're going to get annoyed, bros. They're going to get annoyed. For that, it can't go anywhere other than godly. Mammoth Fruit next. Now, this kit is pretty good for grinding. I won't lie. You have this transformation right here, which makes everything able to be spammed. Where Mammoth kind of lacks is combo ability. The combos aren't really there. It's pretty much you just go in Mammoth form and you spam. And you also have long ranged abilities and, you know, good, good stuff like that. With Mammoth, even though it's really good. I mean, we're going to say it's kind of tied with dark. Next up, we have the light fruit. I want to make this one quick, right? Okay, so you have M1s with it. You also have Logia dodges, so a lot of NPCs are not going to be able to hit you. Spammable moves. Boom, you guys can see right here. A lot of moves can start a combo with it. You know what I'm saying? So easy combos. Light speed destroyer, you guys can see right there. Every move pretty much ties into each other almost. So it's very spammable. Good for grinding. Although I feel like there are just fruits that do what this fruit does, except better. Like there are better spam fruits than light. So this is really good. We'll put it above dark even because it's better for grinding. Okay, that's the end of great tier. All these next ones below or above great tier let me order great tier real quick so far i feel like i've done pretty well in this like i've tried to consider all aspects um my personal experience with grinding and pvp i think we're doing good i think we're doing good dragon next now this is going to be liable to change very soon dragon is getting a rework very soon grinding dragon is not that good it's not the worst but it's not that good pvp is where it really excels we got a super easy combo one shot combo i'm about to show you guys our stuff dragon shower it's like you try to pull boom you go like this go like this then you use god human c and then heat wave beam the only thing dragon really suffers with is dealing with air campers so if you deal with air campers it's kind of tough but then that's why you have this you know what i'm saying the dragon form so obviously dragon is going in godly tier man it's going in godly tier above venom below dough i think it's a good place all right for these next two they're pretty much going to be tied we're going to put portal under spirit and we're going to put rumble under portal i'm going to be honest portal and rumble are pretty much the same fruits they're both stun based fruits they have slightly different nuances but they both have very high mobility they're both stun based they both combo a lot now to be completely transparent i think spirit rumble and portal are 
probably the top four PvP fruits in the game. You probably wonder what the fourth one is. We'll get into that later. Portal, you have the Portal V spamming loops, all that annoying stuff. Rumble, you have the Rumble X, the, you know, Thunderball destruction, all those stuns, high mobility with the dashes. Portal, you have the ability to escape any combos. So yeah, I'm going to put those there. Next up, we have Leopard. People overrate Leopard a lot. It's a godly fruit, don't get me wrong. It's not as good as all these ones. I'm going to put it below Doe, above Dragon. I know what y'all think. I'm sure I've made a lot of y'all upset right there, but think about it. You have the transformation mode, which you can spam a lot in here, right? But as for one-shot combos, there ain't much with Leopard, are there? There are combos out there that one-shot, but I feel like they're not as good and they're like harder to do than what you could do with Spirit, Portal, Rumble, or Doe. So Leopard obviously is a godly fruit, no denying that. Just the spam alone can get you really far with Leopard, but I don't think it's as good as these other four right here. Next up, we have the T-Rex fruit. I want to be honest, the kit on this one is pretty good. Long-ranged abilities, combo potential, especially with Predator Screech. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Start combos like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's really good for combos and stuff like that. Also decent for grinding because you have M1s and you also have a transformation. So this is 100% a godly fruit. No denying that. The damage is really high. Now, some people say this damage is even almost as high as magma, but the difference between this and magma is the combo potential is really nice. And I'm going to be honest, when you go in this transformation right here, it's deadly. So if you hit somebody, you see that icon above their head. If you run away from them, they take damage over time. So this is going to stop runners right in their tracks, boys. You also got some bird damage with this as well on top of the da damage over time. I think it's a really good addition to the game. I really like it. I feel like T-Rex is honestly above Leopard below Doe. In Godly tier, all of these are pretty much around the same, just slight differences. Last but not least, though, we have Kitsune, and this is no brainer. Kitsune is the best fruit in the game, man. I'm not even going to go into detail why Kitsune is the best fruit in the game. If you've ran into a Kitsune, or you've seen maybe some of the videos or some of the combos, uh, you understand how brain dead Kitsune is, man. It, it is a problem to deal with. So yeah, that is our entire tier that's completely finished right there. I honestly felt like I did a good job with this. I took a lot of time to think about the placements. But with that said, boys, Happy New Year's to you all. Hopefully, y'all are starting off y'all 20 24 with a bang.